here and welcome back to my bedroom. Hopefully you've only been here once before when I cleaned a previous shelf because if you were here any other time in my bedroom that would be weird, you know. But here we are in my bedroom, cold, rainy, terrible Melbourne day and what better thing to do than dust some toys. It's like one of my favourite things in the whole wide world to do. You should see me when I get new toys from the op shop. I sit there with my little Dettol wipes and my cleaning cloths and my little tiny brushes for the little bits like in Lego. I have such a good time. I love cleaning. Let's lead me to cleaning and I'll have a good day. So here we are. We're going to clean this shelf today. Uh, I haven't cleaned it maybe in four months. That's a long time for me not to clean something. I usually clean a little bit more often than that. So I'm really looking forward to it. It looks very dirty and dusty. SpongeBob here has got a whole lot of dust on his little sponge self. And the hat on Hamburger. Whoo! Woo! It's shocking. So we're going to jump into it. I'm going to take all the toys off and put them on my doona. Don't worry, I'm going to be washing my doona today so it can get as dirty as I want. And then uh, I'll go through and I'll show you all the toys. And then we'll put them back up. That's a really good time for me. I don't know if it is for you. I hope you like seeing the reflection of outside in the mirror. Professional. Okay, let's clean some toys. So the shelf's all clean, it's nice and dusted, and we're going to work in layers. So I like to put vintage board games and such up the back, then bigger toys, and then, you know, smaller ones down the front. So everything needs to be cleaned, but I've dusted this off already. It's the Babysitter's Club board game. I played this one time. See, I've got to have my phone here so I can put things in focus for you. It's the Babysitter's Club board game. It has an iconic book cover on the front. Look at that text. I love it so much. I played this with my friend Leah one time, and I dominated I dominate because I love Babysitter's Club. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. I've never shown you my Babysitter's Club book collection, but my goal of retirement is to read Babysitter's Club from start to finish. I have hundreds of books, like hundreds. I keep a list on my phone. So anyway, Babysitter's Club board game, that's gonna switch up. It used to be on the left, but we're gonna put it on the right. We're gonna mix it up today. What good fun. Uh, next to that, we're gonna put Dr. Dreadful. Now, do you remember this? I'm Dr. Dreadful, and this is the Dr. Dreadful Food Lab. Makes lots of gross things. And then you eat them. Magic powder, stir, and... Moisturize! This was like a weird cooking kit. And I love this, and there was another one called Creepy Crawlies. So it came with all the bits and science bits, and you would mix up pretty much gelatin lollies. That's what it was, so... I loved these. I thought it was super gross and I was really into horror, as I still am, um, and it just blew my mind. So I managed to get one of these. This fizzy drink tasted like medicine. I'll never forget the taste of that. So super pumped to find this in an op shop not long ago. Actually, that's a lie. It's probably like seven years ago now. I am old. I'm old and that's fine. So we'll put that there. We have some big boys to deal with now. Okay, I'm going to start with this guy who's very, very dusty. It's the Crypt Keeper. I'll put him a little bit closer so you can see him. Tales from the Crypt. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Tales from the Crypt. Here he is. He's looking very dapper. We originally got him in a Hawaiian outfit, then we gave it to a friend as a gift. And then I finally got him back from a toy store called Lobo's. Um, I put this little Mickey Mouse pizza in his hand. Actually, I think Liam did that, uh, just because he looks very hungry. He's very thin, thin man. He's got cute little dapper legs, and I just love him. He's one of my all-time favourite toys. When he's on the shelf, he actually has to hold something other than his pizza, and that is this McDonald's pen. Do you remember this? This is one of my favourite McDonald's toys. I'm going to say do you remember a lot. It doesn't want to focus, but... This is a McDonald's pen. It was a connector pen and you could pull apart these pieces and you can actually write with it and you could curl it around and I used to wear it as a bracelet sometimes. I love it. This is so nostalgic to me. I don't keep all my McDonald's toys out yet. I'm working on it. But this McDonald's pen is amazing. So let's put these two on the shelf. Do you like that I actually got dressed to clean toys? Like I put on a full face of makeup just for this. Next we're gonna put in Gonzo. Look at this amazing giant Gonzo. He's also in a dapper suit. I think I just like well-dressed gentleman toys in general. So little Gonzo. He comes with a trumpet uh, which he doesn't actually play which is pretty cool but you also have to get uh, separately the chicken. His wife -o, who I think's name is Camilla I'm pretty sure that's her name. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but these two are a pair. They're delightful. I love how enormous these Muppets are. 
then yeah, they're gonna go front and center, I think. Right in the middle of the babysitter's club. Get right in those grooves. That's where a little makeup brush comes in. It's really good for Lego and things with the tiny grooves that you can't get a dusting cloth in. What a fancy setup I have over here with these two. Looks like they're going to a fancy restaurant. It's very dapper and pretty. But you know what this fancy restaurant needs is a piano player. But do not fear, I have you covered. I have a tiny piano right here. And who's going to play the piano? It's Ralph. Also from Muppets and also dressed very dapper. Please enjoy this. This was a gift from one of my friends. Oh, I, how do I do this? There we go. Doesn't he look beautiful? Look at his little outfit. Oh, he's dusty. Let's give him a little, a little clean. Dusty time. These Palisades toys are some of my all-time favorite toys. They're so well sculpted. They literally look exactly like the Muppets. I just love their little poses and outfits. I just love it. I love, love, love it. So this is my little Ralph. I have a bunch of them, which you'll see throughout the shelf. And here he is. He's all ready for his dapper dinner date dinner date with all his pals. Look at this teeny tiny piano. It's so amazing. It even opens up and it's got all the inside. It's so good. This is why Palisades toys are next level. Take a look at this guy. This is a living dead doll of Gilman from Creature from the Black Lagoon. Doesn't look like a living dead doll at all. It just looks like a super awesome Creature from the Black Lagoon toy. I'll let you have a closer look at this guy. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. Look at the sculpting on the back. And I love how hefty and weighty it is. It's just like hard, heavy vinyl. Living Dead Dolls. Amazing. We have a few of them. I have Bruce Campbell. That's all I can think of right now. Oh, and Sam from Trick or Treat. That's a good toy as well. I have no idea where that is. I think it's in the second bedroom. So, anywho. Creature from Black Lagoon. I haven't really talked about it much here on my channel, but my absolute favourite toy to collect ever, ever, ever is 80s plushes. Care Bears, Wuzzles, and Rainbow Bright. And this is one of my ultimate treasures in my collection. I don't even know where I found it. I think I found it when I used to go to the market with my dad on a Sunday morning when I was like maybe 16, 15. I used to just wear my pajamas to the market and buy vinyl and vintage toys because they were so cheap back then. So this I found from then and I thought I'd lost it forever. Um, and then my mum randomly gave me two tote bags full of all my old collectibles. Um, and this was in there, so I just couldn't believe that I had it again. I thought I totally lost it And then we have um, some of the color kids here as well. I don't have a full set I don't think I ever will I hardly have any rainbow bright toys and they're all like not in the best condition like they're missing their clothes and whatnot, but I just love them. These are iconically my childhood. I see these and I just go back in time Look at these little leg warmers <laughs> They're so cute. Check out these naughty boys Gremlins from NECA. Woo! One of my favourite toy lines again. NECA, there's so much detail, but they never stand properly and they don't come with stands, which is also very frustrating. But these two are delightful. They were a gift from Liam one year and I was so happy to have them. Uh, this one has a candy cane and this one has a gingerbread man. They are Christmas themed. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And I have quite a few of the Gremlins. I wish I had them all, but I have enough for now. I just got Greta. Remember we talked about her in a previous video, so... Here we are, two little NECA gremlins ready for Christmas and caroling. So the thing with gremlins, right, and any NECA toy, is they're usually very top heavy. So if you put this on something, and because they don't come with stands, they fall over all the time. So the key to your toy layering with NECAs is to make sure they're leaning on something or have something holding them. So here I've stuck this guy, I'll put the camera on that so you can see, and I've got Senor Gonzo holding him at the back as well as the Crypt Keeper. And this guy I'm going to squeeze in there so there's no way it can fall. Otherwise it's just never ending. And in the middle of the night you'll wake up and hear a plonk and think the world is ending. So, uh, we don't want that. Voila. Here's another rude dude. It's Mikey from Men in Black. Oh my gosh, the camera focused. How exciting. So here we are. He has a base, which I love. He's really flat. This is from when the movie came out, the original one. Um, and he's holding a head and you're like, cool man. Look at this. He's crazy. He's taking a dude's head off. And then, paga! Amazing. His head falls off. I love this toy. I'm just mesmerized by it right now. I love it. Every time I play with this toy, I just think this is one of the most well designed or the inside's done. Goodness me. I need more men in black figures. Here she is, the Sass Queen herself. It's Miss Piggy. Let's see if we can get this to focus. It did. Also from Palisades. I love that it comes with a base. Thank you so much. I wish that she was in pink. Because when I think Miss Piggy, I think pink and fabulous. And this dress just isn't big and bold enough. Uh, but I do love this toy. She comes with a little mirror. I'm going to set it up like it looks like she's singing 
with Ralph. Like at a jazz bar, because I feel like that really works well. Good luck getting all the fluff of this toy. This is an Animal Palisades toy, and this is what I'm talking about. This is why you need a little brush, because of all the texture on the top of his head. The dust just gets caught in it, and if you don't have a very small brush, you're never going to get all that out, ever. You can see it coming off. I can see it, so the camera's definitely picking up. Uh, so yeah, get yourself a little makeup brush or one you don't need anymore. I also have a toothbrush and a bunch of stuff I use, but this one works really well. And I think we're gonna put Animal right on top of the piano as well, so they're all kind of playing together in a band. Sometimes when I'm cleaning, I decide to take a toy out of a display. Not because I don't like it anymore, well sometimes, but in this case it's because it's too awesome to be in my bedroom and I want to show it off near my VHS wall, and that's this Migo Nosferatu. He glows in the dark and every night I look up and I see him and I think this is just too cool to be hidden in this shelf. So he's going to come out into the lounge room and I'm going to continue on cleaning. So I've done the big boys at the back. It's time to do some medium layering and this is the first guy that's going to go up there. This is Pinhead from Hellraiser and it's released from Super 7. They're made to look like Master of the Universe and I love Master of the Universe. Uh, I love that it's kind of showing his insides, it's got his iconic makeup, it's got a knife in the box, and it's got that cool Master of the Universe pose. I love all the toys that came out from that line. Uh, I also have a Brett the Hitman heart from WWF in his iconic outfit with those shades. I had such a crush on him, like a major crush on him growing up. I watched so much wrestling. And lastly we have Pennywise. This was, oh, what's some sad balloons there, uh, released by NECA. Uh, and it came with all these coloured balloons and multiple heads. It was so amazing and I love it so, so much. It's so detailed. It literally looks like a tiny little clown on my shelf, which is probably not always the best, but I love it. So I'm going to pose him with Brett the Hitman Hunt and we're going to have a good time. Okay, some more medium fellows. We have Professor Coldheart from Care Bears. I see my unfeeling ray is working better than I could have imagined. When we moved into this apartment, I thought I had lost his little mug and I was devastated. And then I found it in a lunch tin where I keep everything. We also have Scooter from Palisades. Oh, let me just get his little cape done. So it's Scooter from Muppets. He's looking super cool. He's like in a superhero outfit and he comes with this little guide to being a superhero. Hopefully the camera picks that up. We also have this guy from Biker Mice from Mars. I was never a fan of Biker Mice from Mars, but this toy blows my mind. He's like a weird fish fat dude. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. We also have <laughs> these two dudes from the iconic cartoon Sea Lab 2021. Did any of you watch that? <laughs> Love it. I reckon I could quote it word for word. Liam was so obsessed with it when we first started dating. Sea Lab 2021. This is that disgustingly dirty toy um, of Hamburglar and look at him now. What a refresh. He looks so clean and neat and uh, it's really cool because it's one of my favourite things in the world. You guys know vinyl head plush body. This just came free from McDonald's in 2001. It's a really good toy. Uh, and we also have two Ghostbusters. From two different series. I really really love Ghostbusters. I'd never watched it really as a kid so this is more of an adult love. So we're 47 minutes into this in case anyone's wondering this is how long it took to clean and dust all this. Okay and we're finally up to the small fellows and I'll show you them one by one. Here we go. This is a very iconic Spongebob. It was on a birthday cake of mine. There's a lot of history behind this. It's made of metal, it's die cast and it has a broken leg. One of my absolute favourite things I own. This is a meat guy. It was from a collection that came out from McDonald's of all foods that McDonald's doesn't have, like apples and milk. Well, they didn't have milk at the time. Uh, milk jugs, so super weird. He's just a rad dude flexing meat cutlet. We have Frankenstein's Monster. These were released, I believe, by Super 7 in little box collections. And I also have the Jigsaw from that as well, which I love and Jaws, which apparently is quite rare in the collection and he has the air in his mouth as well. So, <laughs> couldn't resist myself. Um, other fellows we have are this really cool like little kid version of the new Pennywise. It's just too cute, I couldn't pass it up. 
Uh, we have some Tiny Toon adventures, which I absolutely love. I love Looney Tunes, so Tiny Toons, you can imagine, it's just cuter versions of them. So, little Tiny Tazzy, and then, I can't remember this guy's name, but the little rabbit guy, who's like bugs, but not bugs. I think this was meant to be a pencil top or something. I don't know. Oh no, it's just a small figure. 1992. Wow, that was a long time ago. I have a clue, a cool glow-in-the-dark Triceratops, just because it's cool. I have George Jetson. Uh, I really like Hanna-Barbera cartoons, so we have a small George Jetson. We also have an iconic, 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 uh, pencil topper troll from the 1990s, made by Russ. The only troll brand you should ever buy. Russ. Uh, and we have, do you remember diaper babies? They came, they were like the original blind bag toy diaper babies. So this is a cat version. And this is a mascot that I believe was for the Commonwealth Games here in Australia from Uncle Toby's. You've got it in the cereal uh, and it has the Olympics on there. Don't know, maybe 90 cents. Maybe it was a, maybe it was the Commonwealth Games. Let me know in the comments down below. But these are the last guys to go on the shelf. Yay, we're done. Let me bring you in for a closer look of oh, the finished shelf. Total time, 51 minutes is how long it took to clean and organize that shelf. That was a really good time. Okay, let me show you my handiwork. for watching me clean my toys and hanging out with me checking them out I had so much fun organizing everything this shelf is the next one to do it is just dead I take toys out for photos and hasn't been cleaned in a while as well so maybe we'll do that one again soon so let me know which toy is your favorite down here I think my absolute favorite is all of them I literally can't choose a favorite I'm standing here Maybe the giant Gonzo? I don't know. I've got dust in my eye. I need to go. It's done. Bye!